Hello everyone and Happy New Year! I hope 2024 is treating you well so far. Last year was a great year for games and I hope 2024 keeps up that energy. And that's the topic of today's video, games I'm looking forward to this year. I'll try and keep them organized by release date, but most of them are vague. That being said, the first game on this list is February 13th is the current release date for Banishers Ghosts of New Eden. This is a choice and consequence action RPG where you take on the role of a banisher and try to find a way to reunite with the woman you love. This game will be playable on the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, and PC. There are quite a few things I like about this game. One is that your character is already in an established romance. I think that's kind of rare to find in a lot of modern games. I also like that you can play as both of the characters in this game, which does seem to be like it'll be interesting. February 22nd is Nightingale's Early Access release. It's currently set to release on PC only. This is one of those crafting, building, surviving games you can play alone or with friends. I'm not a big fan of survival games, but I do love the world and the style of Nightingale, so when it gets out of Early Access, I'd love to try it. Quarter 1 of 2024 will be the early access release of No Rest for the Wicked on PC. This game will eventually also be released on Xbox and PlayStation 5. And this game is made by the people who made Ori and the Blind Forest. That game was beautiful and frustrating and I bet No Rest for the Wicked will be the same. There's not a lot of information about this game right now, but I'm in love with its art style, the character designs look great, and the mini trailer they showed made the game look like it will be emotional. It's probably one of the games I'm most excited for right now. In a short article with Xbox, they described the game as a new take on ARPG games. They compared Ori to Mario and No Rest for the Wicked to Zelda, so I'm even more excited by that comparison. Also in quarter one of 2024 is Locomotive. This is a point and click murder mystery game with a hint of comedy to it too. It's going to release on PC and the Switch. The website says that they're planning to make the game fully voice acted as well, which will be really nice. I think this will be a cute game to play. Summer 2024 is the release of Final Fantasy XIV's newest expansion, Dawn Trail, which is probably another one of the games I'm most excited for. Just thinking about continuing the adventure after the emotional endwalker gives me the chills. I love this game and I can't wait to see where it goes. Quarter 2 of 2024 is the early access release of Hades 2. This game will be eventually playable on both consoles and PC. I'm excited for this game, but I probably won't be buying it until it's fully released because I try not to buy anything in early access aside from a few exceptions. But this is also a top tier game. If you haven't played the first one, I do recommend it. And now here's a list of games with just the year 2024 as the release date. The first one is Zenless Zone Zero. That is releasing this year. It's a free to play action game. Like other Hoyoverse games, this is coming to consoles, PC, and mobile. From what I've seen from the beta, this game has a lot more animation than Genshin or Star Rail. So it's nice to see them improve it even more and I can't wait to try it out. Spirit Swap Lo-Fi Beats to Match 3-2 is another game I'm excited for that's releasing in 2024 on Steam. I love the art and the songs they use in their trailers. I have a feeling the soundtrack is going to be amazing just based on the trailer. It has a story to it and it sounds like there might be some romance in the game if you're interested in that. I think it'll be a nice chill game to play. Hopefully it will work on the Steam Deck too. As far as I can tell, this game seems to be for PC only right now. Also with an ambiguous 2024 release date is Fields of Mystria. This is another farming game with magic in it that has an old anime style to it. There are 12 marriage candidates and they're not locked by the gender you pick. You can customize your own character too and choose your pronouns, which is always a blessing. For now, this game will be available on PC, but maybe they'll late add it to consoles later down the line, I'm not sure. I'm excited for this game because it just feels so nostalgic to me. Crypt Custodian is another cute game releasing this year. It's a Metro Devania game where you're sentenced to be the Afterworld's janitor forever. Based on that alone, I just want to play it. The art style reminds me a lot of Death Store, which I loved, but kind of more 2D. I couldn't find a website for this game, so I believe it will be releasing on PC only at this time. And maybe, again, it'll be added on consoles in the future though. I love this idea a lot. If you like Sekiro, then the game Nine Souls might resonate with you. 
This is a 2D platformer game that has deflection focused combat inspired by Sekiro. I haven't played Sekiro so I can't comment on the accuracy of this claim, but I'm excited to give it a try. This game is going to release on PC and Nintendo Sony consoles, but they haven't decided which ones yet. There is also Bo, Path of the Teal Lotus. This is a 2D platformer game inspired by Japanese folklore. When I first saw the trailer for this, it reminded me of the old Okami games because of its bright, colorful, cultural art style. And Bo is releasing on all major platforms. Finally, I'm excited for the game Symphonia. I'm not 100% sure that this will be out in 2024 anymore because their original trailer said it had a 2024 release date, but their Steam page says to be announced. But I'm throwing it in there anyways. Symphonia's Steam description says it is a non-violent poetic platformer where you use your violin to bring the musical machinery of the world back to life. This game is coming to PC and console, but they haven't announced which consoles yet. So that's my list of games I'm personally excited for in 2024. Are there any games that you're excited for? I'd love to hear more about that. I'm always looking for something to play. Thank you for watching.